Oh my God, the vibe is so good. When the cast is so young, it just lets all the energy be just fun and fresh and every, you know, everybody's just throwing jokes around and we dance, you know, we dancing and you know, the woe wasn't out at the time. Hold on, wait, the woe didn't come through at the time. At the time, this was, you know, Black Boy JB was popping at the time for y'all who know what I'm talking about. But it was just the best energy and it was just so fun. I had She's unapologetically fierce and brazen and incredibly intelligent and also fiercely loyal and she's she's all of those things while also being really silly and loose and funny and warm and I had never seen that juxtaposition represented on screen especially in a comedy and all of the all of the humor in the film comes from their intellect and also their love for one another and it's a really positive humor it really builds people up and then you have Olivia Wilde and you're like where do I sign? That playfulness came from Olivia had us so prepared. We rehearsed so much before we got to shoot, which is such a luxury that she crafted, that she created. Um, it's not something that just happened. She was like, I want to carve out this time. And then she had a no script on set rule, meaning that we had to be fully memorized every day. So because we all came in so prepared, we were able to be so free because we knew exactly the foundation that we were coming back to in every scene. Um, so that's definitely. Oh my, every Gigi look was iconic. I can't pick up, I don't know, my favorite was probably the sailor look with like that crazy kimono with the tassels and the cap and the whole vibe. She is just everything I would be if no one was watching and that's why she was so fun to get to play because I get got to be the most insane, wily version of myself and that was so refreshing to get to do. Olivia is just beyond the best human ever. I want to grow up to be her as a director. I want to grow up to be her as a mother. I want to grow up to be her as a human. She is, I can't say enough positive adjectives about the woman. She's so talented and you'll see it when you see it. I think this is one of those movies where in like 10 years, people are going to look back and be like, how on earth were all of these wickedly talented and funny and amazing people all in one movie together? And I think that just goes to show, you know, Olivia Wilde's eye and Allison Jones's eye and like just when like, so much talent and, and and positivity comes together like this is what it was really refreshing to to read a story about a female best friendship that seemed so honest and real on the page it was so refreshing to read a story about women who were actually funny you know as a woman I don't get sent comedic roles hardly ever so that was really really exciting to me um, and then also just the, the really the friend the friendship was really really um, exciting for me and then when Olivia came on it was like oh well this is just I just thought it was good I thought it was really funny and really good and well written and you know I knew Olivia was directing it and I thought that was really thrilling and then, so I was inclined to do it, and then they said, oh, and Will Forte is going to play your husband. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> well, it's entertaining. <laughs> That's, I think, the most important thing. And it's just really funny, and it's the kind of high school that you hope every school is like, where no one, it's not remarkable that you have, you know, these different kinds of kids populating a school. and. Everyone's included. Everyone likes each other. There's, they're not judgmental. It's good. It was like recess. <laughs> to be completely honest, it was like recess. It didn't even feel like work. Uh, we'd show up to work each day and we would we, we'd go over these sides and we'd practice and practice. But once we got on film and we started doing the thing, it was like it was like a game. It was like a little activity. It was, it was recess, 100%. At the helm, it was uh, incredible. She's a warrior lady. She's like really wise and warm and motherly and like all the things you want from a director. And then she's able to be like super technical and like meet the entire crew, you know, head on. Booksmart reminded me of the kind of movies that made me want to be in this business. You know, I grew up watching movies like Fast Times, Breakfast Club, Say Anything, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Clueless, and those movies made me want to be a part of this storytelling business. I thought they were incredibly revolutionary in the way they kind of contextualized the adolescent experience. They taught me so much about music, about just human interaction. And I wanted to make a movie that was a love letter to those films and also 
something that would reflect this new generation and how evolved and fluid and political and just awesome they are. They make me optimistic for the future. We worked with the cast to make sure they were never saying anything that felt inauthentic. We made sure everything was an organic line, interaction, moment, everything. If it didn't feel right or real, we got rid of it. And I think that was the standard. It was, it was my priority to just make sure there weren't false beats. And it was up to the actors to make sure they stayed on that as well. And they're all so good. I mean, this is a unique group of fresh young actors. It was a really supportive, communicative, warm set. And we did four weeks of nights in the middle of it. So you needed this fam family vibe. And we had a lot of great male allies working on the crew too, and I have to shout them out and appreciate them. And it was great for this young cast to see an example of men taking orders from a woman without having any issue with it. That was great. We had the best crew in the world.